Hello and welcome to Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. What are we drinking today, Justin? Uh, we're drinking Drag Me to Hellas. Mm. If you want the recipe, click the link above. Today we are talking about a movie that was recommended to us through our channel. And I hate to say we forget who recommended it, but we jotted it down a good like year ago <laughs> or more. Yeah. So we're going to do it for you today. It's a very forgotten movie. A real low budge gem, and that is Terror at Red Wolf Inn, which came out in 1972. It is directed by Bud Townsend, and he hasn't done much, but Alice in Wonderland, an X-rated musical fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I kind of want to see that, actually. The movie stars uh, Margaret Avery. She was in Magnum Force and The Color Purple. Mary Jackson is in this, and she was in The Exorcist 3, uh, Walking on the Ceiling. Yeah, which we had just done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Click the link above. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Space is in this, and good God, he's in 283 credits. The movie starts out with our main character, Regina. She has just won a all-expenses-paid trip to the Red Wolf Inn. <laughs> yeah. She has never entered a contest to even win this. That doesn't matter, because she's so excited. She goes out <laughs> on her balcony and, Woo! I won something! <laughs> I am a winner! <laughs> Pans out, and there's nobody yeah, there. Yeah, so nobody she, gives she, a damn. Yeah. <laughs> When she lands, there's someone to meet her and to drive her to the Red Wolf Inn, and that is Baby John, is his nickname. <laughs> yeah. They get quite flirtatious. Do you like to drive fast? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> they get to the inn, and we're introduced to the owners, Henry and Evelyn Smith. There's two other people staying at the inn at the moment, and that's Pamela and Edwina. That night they have a big feast. One of the longest dinner scenes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. They're eating all that corn <laughs> and... And the ribs. Yeah, the ribs. Would you look at that? <laughs> yeah. um, and it's like, it's minutes of no dialogue mm -hmm. and just people <laughs> moans like stuffing themselves yeah. like they're... Just beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Looking at each other. Mm. Yeah, with the music playing. <laughs> Poor Regina's all stuffed. Can't sleep. Guts all rotten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to go down to the kitchen to look for some uh, Alka Seltzer or something. And Baby John like bursts out of this big walk in fridge. With a knife. With a knife, like wearing like a smock and everything, and scares yeah. the shit out of her. And oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. The next day is beach day. <laughs> While Regina's sitting on the beach uh, eating her fillet sandwich, <laughs> <laughs> baby John is fishing, and he ends up catching a shark. <laughs> Fucking shark, and it all comes onto the beach. He's all shark, shark, <laughs> shark. And he picks it up and he starts beating it on some rock. <laughs> like, and he keeps doing and it. And he keeps yelling shark, shark, shark for like shark. a minute. It's like super long. It's like Gator Thing's dead. After all that, he turns to Regina. I think I love you. <laughs> So that evening, it's uh, Edwina's going away party. After the meal's done and it's time for everybody to go to bed, the old couple, they have a bottle of, I guess, chloroform, and they put it on her mouth, drag her into the freezer, and you hear chopping noises. The next day, Regina is kind of taken aback by the fact that Edwina didn't say goodbye to her. So she starts to suspect that something is up with this Red Wolf Inn. She does make her way into the freezer, and there's heads and torsos hanging from the yeah. from the ceiling and everything. Takes off out of the house, and she tries to run away. <laughs> she sees a truck that's driving by, and she flags him down. And who is it but... Henry and Evelyn drive her back to the Red Wolf Inn and that's where we're gonna end it because she's got to figure a way out of this mess. Yeah. And now that we described this movie, it's funny that this movie was before Texas Chainsaw Massacre. How much of the plot points are kind of very similar? Sally! <laughs> Sally, wait! There's a trail between them two old sheds. The movie's very artsy though, like I get a very artsy kind of sense from it. A bit it. of an artsy feel, but it's also very low budget. And yeah. it's got that real grainy look, which works for the movie, I think. You're unsure whether or not it's a comedy or a horror, or a horror comedy. And you kind of halfway through, you realize, 
okay, I'm watching a black comedy. Yeah. This disguise is a horror. I think the shining part of this movie is really the characters and how wacky and weird they are. Like uh, Baby John is just <laughs> yeah. a weird guy, you know, and he beats the shark to death and then flipping out at the dinner table. It, Mine! Yeah. It's mine! It's mine! Mine! mine. <laughs> Fucking throwing dishes around and everything, and then the Henry just, what is that all about? <laughs> <laughs> and he's all eating too. Yeah. Like he deserves a spanking, and then Evelyn goes to go spank him, and it's like all light and like, <laughs> yeah. like barely even touching him. He's all smiling. Yeah, he's and... all looking at Regina. The movie is about cannibalism. They're always pushing food. That other cop grandson, he has to eat, you know, yeah. no, there's food over there for you, and they're always pushing it. Yeah, like a commentary on gluttony. It could be. It packs a lot of punch in an hour and 17 minutes. Yeah, it's not even an hour and a half long. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's a movie that keeps getting better as it progresses. Like, it starts off a little slow. The acting's a little cheesy in the beginning. Yeah. What yeah. is this? <laughs> Kind of shitty and campy, but you know you're watching something a little different and something special. When you get to that dinner scene, you're like, okay, what's... What, what is what this? Is this? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, what, is this? what are they eating? Wondering what the hell's going on. You kind of maybe want to turn it off, but you don't. Yeah. <laughs> and you and then you're off. glad you don't. And you get, <laughs> like, near the end, you're like, oh, man, this movie is just a gem. Yeah, it's so enjoyable. And speaking about the ending, this movie's got kind of a, a few twists at the end. Madness happens in the <laughs> greenhouse, and they end up beating this dog to death with a shovel, and <laughs> yeah. Evelyn's crying because the dog is dead, but the grandpa doesn't care because the plants have been destroyed. Yeah. Oh, you're my poor plants! <laughs> yeah. That's weird. And, like, and then at the end, there's a complete 180 twist, which is super cool. You do not see it coming. And another cool thing about the movie is the end credits. When mm -hmm. the credits start rolling, it's in the form of like a menu. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to watch a movie that's a hell of a laugh. Yeah, not that long. A lot of fun. If you like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. American Gothic. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> totally an American Gothic type feel. <laughs> yeah. You have to check out this movie. It's uh, an hour and 17 minutes out of your life that you'll really enjoy. Yeah, I think so. Definitely check it out. And until then... Keep, Keep drinking. drinking.